Uh, staying on oil, David Barnson is with us this morning. David, you say there is tremendous value in energy. I take it you're talking about energy stocks, oil company stocks. Make your case. Well, I'm talking about oil company stocks, but I'm also talking about the pipelines that have to deliver it. And I'm talking about the terminals that are going to deliver liquefied natural gas. You talked a moment ago about Germany undoing some of their excessively green and counterproductive policies. They want to build more terminals to receive liquefied natural gas. Who's going to be delivering that to them? It's U.S. midstream companies. So those pipelines, those terminals that we talk about all the time which are great dividend growers. They're huge beneficiaries from this reawakening of the U.S. energy story. Is that the pipeline company, UMI, the, the one we've talked about it frequently? It's a pipeline company? Yes. Great, great memory, Stuart. I love when you are paying attention to what I'm talking about <laughs> with dividend growth. UMI is a, a managed ETF. Yep of different pipeline companies. And so it's diversified, not just one company, but they're all focused on dividend growth and energy infrastructure. Which financial companies should I buy? Oh, well, JP Morgan longer term has come down about $40 a share from its recent highs, way overdone. The best dividend grower in the world for financial companies of the last 10 years. Um, and JP Morgan's trading now at about eight or nine times earnings has now gone over a 3% dividend yield for a bank stock. It's phenomenal. Uh, then you got to look again at Apollo, um, which is a sort of sister to our, our favorite Blackstone company there. Apollo is going to have a 5% dividend yield this year, and it's come down about $20 a share from its fourth quarter high. So we really like Apollo and JP Morgan. Um, give me one more. Um, MetLife, I believe you're looking at that one too. Yeah, we've owned that for a while, and MetLife just happens to have dipped recently, and it's a, obviously a very, very well-known insurance company. People don't like the yield curve flattening for MetLife, but we think that's now priced in, and again, you're getting over a 3% dividend yield with years of dividend growth ahead, so MetLife has come down a little. You know, all the energy stuff has gone up so much, mm. the financials have come down, so we're just trying to give people a little bit of uh, both sides, because sometimes you want to buy on weakness. I'm going to take another look at Apollo, because if, if it does as well for me as Blackstone did, I'm in 100%. There you go. Thanks, yeah, well, David. let's set the expectation a little lower than that, a yeah. little lower <laughs> expectation than that. So we should. David Barnson, you're all right. We'll see you again soon. Thank you, David.